Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to More Healthy Ideas. Whether you're planning a big party or just having a few people over for lunch, make-ahead recipes are your best friend. Today, we're gonna show you how to create delicious crustless mini quiches that you can bake, chill, and then simply reheat later. First, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and have a pot of boiling water on standby. While waiting for our water to boil, we can spray our 12-cup muffin tin with non-stick cooking spray, and then set aside. Okay, our water is ready. So now we can blanch our asparagus. I've already trimmed the ends and chopped the spears into smaller pieces. We'll place them into our pot of boiling water and let that cook for about one to two minutes. Now, blanching is simply a great way to not overcook your vegetables, as well as preserve the color and texture. Now, to stop the cooking process and help the asparagus keep its bright green color, we're just gonna simply spoon the asparagus out of the boiling water and into an ice water bath when it's done cooking. Once the asparagus has cooled in your ice water bath, you're just gonna simply remove it from the bath and place it on a paper towel lined plate to pat dry. Simple as that. Now, in a medium bowl, we're gonna combine the evaporated milk, often called baker's milk, eggs, which I've already beaten, flour, salt, black pepper, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whisk this together until everything is completely blended. Okay, next we're gonna add our blanched asparagus. Our shredded cheddar cheese. And our fresh red pepper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir all these ingredients until everything is combined. All right, our mixture's complete. We're gonna spoon about a third of a cup into each muffin tin, and you're gonna wanna fill it until it almost reaches the rim, and this is important, because you don't want it to overflow in your oven. Now it's oven time. Bake for 25 minutes, and you'll know when they're done when they have this great golden color right on top. After 25 minutes, take them out of the oven. You can check to see if they're done by inserting a knife in the center of the quiche. When the knife comes out clean, you know they're ready to go. Then let them cool in the pan for about 15 minutes. Carefully remove each quiche by running a spatula around the outside edges and lifting the quiche out. Mm. Don't they look tasty? Now, you can serve them immediately or cover, put in the fridge, and just reheat when your guests arrive. They're perfect as an appetizer or when served with a salad, they make a great lunch. For different variations, you can certainly substitute other vegetables such as cherry tomatoes or purple onions or even other kinds of peppers. Until next time, I'm Tyler for Healthy Ideas. For more great recipes, look for Healthy Ideas Magazine on the web or Healthy Ideas Magazine app for your iPad, Android tablet, or Kindle devices.